Welcome to part two of our dive into Iceland's freezers wherein live Ed's Easy Diner branded microwavable burgers and snacks and things exclusive to Iceland. Shop online, the food warehouse, etc, etc. Oh yes, because frankly I, I need the space in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> These take up like a whole drawer. They're quite large boxes. So yes, from the American diner to your home is a phrase which has nothing to do with these whatsoever because you wouldn't see like weird grey slabs of meat in an American diner, I don't think. But there we are. Let's just get on and see what we've got inside. Breakfast muffin. That makes sense to start with a breakfast muffin, doesn't it? Look, there's a muffin. Muffin looks all right, actually. There's a, a slab of sausagey stuff and that's a hash brown. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what's the story for the cooking here? Uh, I don't know, because I'm looking at the wrong side. That's better. For best results, cook from frozen and do not throw on the floor. That's really important, by the way, if you're cooking something, don't throw it on the floor. I mean, it happens sometimes, but don't do it on purpose. Microwave from frozen. Removal packaging, place hash brown to multiple plate. Top with sausage patty and cook for one minute. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to take the toast and microwave route though for maximum tastiness. Remove from the packaging, place hash brown to microwave plate, cook for 1 minute 20, toast muffin for 1 second, place sausage onto microwave plate and cook. Ah, so you do the sausage, the hash brown and the almighty muffin separately. Mm. Well, I suppose you are going to do the muffin separately if you're going to put it in the toaster. I wouldn't recommend doing hash browns and sausages in a toaster unless you particularly enjoy electrical fires. Um, yeah. Well, that sounds simple enough. Right. Let's run and make this thing hot. And here we go. Mm. Well, the muffin looks good. Can't complain about the muffin. It's nice and warm, it toasted fine, as you would expect, but that's all good. The hash brown. When you do these things in the microwave, they produce more moisture than a trout farm. Um, but yeah, it's now kind of dried off and seems all right, so that's not too bad. Not entirely convinced by the sausage patty. I mean, it looks a lot better than the beef burgers we had last time, but it kind of went all brittle and snapped in half. <laughs> and I'm no expert on uh, meat, but I don't think that's generally a good sign. And also, it didn't come with any sauce, which surprised me. I thought this would be an, a shoe in for ketchup, but we shall be good, and we shall eat it as Iceland intended. Right, let us take a bite. I'm sure this one's going to be fine, surely. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. The bread's a bit doughier than I expected um, for a muffin. Weirdly solid. Mm. There's not much flavour to it. The hash brown seems fine. I can't taste anything except a huge mouthful of muffin with a hint of kind of spices. I think I'm going to have to eat these separately. Hang on. Yeah, it's not great. Not bad, but it's not great. That's very much a five out of ten on the um, hash brown there. Um, just sort of mildly tasteless, but not unpleasant. And there's a hint of hash browniness to it. Whereas this, um, yeah, hang on. Oh god, texture's not good. Um, again, very salty, but you kind of expect that from well. Perhaps not to this extent. Oh god, actually, it's massively salty. Um, yeah, that's not amazing. I, mean, I honestly thought the sausage would be noticeably different to the burgers. They've got a little bit of the sort of sausage spice in that you get in this stuff, but um, otherwise it's not that dissimilar to the burgers, weirdly. Surely it's made out of an entirely different meat. Let's have a look. Um, where I can't even find the bloody bit with it on. Uh, here we are. It's made of pork. Um, yeah, cooked sausage meat patty, 26%. Pork, pork fat seasoning. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, it should taste more different. I think it's just so salty. All you get is a sort of vague sort of meatiness, a lot of salt and a little bit of spice. And when it's all together with the muffin, it just kind of tastes of a very disappointing muffin. Um, yeah, not great. Not great at all. Right, the only thing better than a cheeseburger is surely a double cheeseburger. Twice the cheese, twice the meat, 
but but only once the bun. That'd be weird if not. Also, interestingly, this was one pound seventy-five, whereas the previous sausage muffin thing was two pounds. So this looks bigger and cheaper. What a world we live in. Um, oh, the box is falling apart. Probably because uh, it started to slightly defrost the box since I got out of the fridge, um, or the freezer even. Don't keep frozen things in the fridge. It will not end well. Cooked beef and chicken burgers again. Yeah, all, all the reclaimed meats. If you, Google that if you really want to see a very interesting video on how they produce stuff like that. Ooh. Right, cooking instructions. Place burgers. It's all fairly obvious. You can toast the bun. They have a methodology for that. Well, that's fine then, isn't it? But what does it look like? This is what we're interested in. Ooh. Two slabs of grey stuff, a couple of bits of cheese in the bag. I mean, that's what you'd expect, really, isn't it? And again, I'm surprised there's no sauce for this one, because all most of the others had sauce, didn't they? There seems to be a, a sauce-free day for this one. OK, um, right. All looks nice and simple. Let's quickly go through the instructions properly, I suppose. Um, Place burgers stacked on top of each other on a microwave plate, 45 seconds, turn over 45 seconds. Oh, that's a real quick and easy one. There is a small fly. I don't know if you can see it, it's been attracted. Is that a fruit fly or something? No. Away with you. Off. Off. Nobody said you could be in my video. You haven't signed a bloody clearance form. Deary me, what is the world coming to? Right, I'm going to go and microwave this quick before it starts to defrost like the box has. Don't worry, it's still nice and solid at the moment. Um, This isn't going to be good, is it? Okie dokie. We've got two amazing... B beef and chicken patties. We've got lots of cheese, which is still in quite a liquid state. Um, yeah, Every everything you could want. And yeah, it's, well, as you would expect, the same sort of weird grey sort of meat burgery God knows what's as before. Oh, good. You see, they kind of got away with it last time with things like the mac and cheese burger, because the mac and cheese took away the taste of the meat. The ones where you could taste the meat more, not so good. Um, so I'm going to assume this is going to be bad, but you never know. You never know. Mm. Okay. Oh. Turns out I knew. Um... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. That... There's so much salt in this, you would not believe. <laughs> so salty. Oh, oh dearie me. Hang on. Hang on, I'm going to take another bite, but I don't think my opinion is going to change. Oh. I can't even hold it together, look. Mmm. Mmm. The cheese isn't doing a lot. Making it sort of less dry I suppose and the meat is just so awful it just kind of tastes of nothing but salt and this sort of faint unpleasant greasy aftertaste that's becoming less faint now oh the cheese is taking the edge of that bit though so that's good also the bun's a bit disappointing because toasted it all up nicely but then you have to do the whole thing put together for a minute yeah like, oh, that softened it a bit but never mind um that I, oh, that's pretty bad <laughs> This is pretty far down the tier list as microwave burger things go. Oh, it may be at the bottom. The thing this did not need was more of that bloody meat. It needed something to take the edge off. It needed something to take the taste away, frankly. And instead you've just got loads of it. And it's like you're just, ugh, I don't know, ugh, eating mushed up goo through a sweaty sock. It's just absolutely awful. Um, no, not convinced by this one at all. I mean, you can have too much of a good thing. I think this is too much of a bad thing. <laughs> the two burgers. Oh, God. I think my grandmother once said, you can't really mess up meat, cheese and bread. <laughs> well, Grandma. <laughs> well, Grandma. It turns out you may have been wrong on that. And finally, let's complete the Holy Trinity. We've had sausage, we've had burger, now we have chicken with spicy chicken burger with hash brown and salsa. So last time it was chicken and bacon and cheese, wasn't it? This time, spicy. This is going to be all right, surely, because surely the sauce will cover a multitude of sins. I seem to remember the chicken not being amazing last time, but hopefully this will take the edge off completely. Um, Let's have a look. Oh, the box has gone funny because it was frozen. Here we go. 
And it looks jollier, doesn't it? I don't know what's happened to... Oh. So why is the cheese... Like, the cheese last time were in separate little bags. This time it's just something to put in there. Why is this? I don't know. I'm not sure I really care either. That's an interesting observation. Yep, you've got your hash brown there and your disturbingly orange coloured um, chicken burger. <laughs> They've certainly coated that with something. Right. Uh, what is the actual chicken burger made of? 60% chicken breast and a lot of wheat flour and stuff. Okay. That sounds fair. Where is the Instructicons? Here we go. Um, as alternative toaster microwave. Yeah, definitely. Move all packaging. Place an open source sachet into a bowl of hot water. Okay. Place the chicken burger and hash brown on a microwavable plate. Cook for one minute thirty. Ah, so you do the chicken burger and the hash brown together. Okay. Toast the burger separately. Um, oh. That's nice and easy. Ah, but toast the burger bun, then assemble and cook for a further 30 seconds. Hopefully that won't be too bad. The last one I had to assemble and then do in the microwave for one minute. And as I said, yeah, it made the bloody bun a bit soggy. But hopefully it won't be too bad this time. Right. Oh, you smell that. It's a jump cut. And there we go. Do you know, it's been about 10 minutes and I can still taste the weird greasiness of the last burger. It was a bad one. Please, chicken burger make the taste go away. So the chicken is small and squished and yeah, very orange. A little bit crispy there, not too bad. Uh, the bun has mostly survived. It's a little bit soft, but not too bad. Um, there is your salsa or your oxen blood and chives. No, it's definitely salsa. And there's some, you know, cheese stuff under the hash brown. Right. After the last two, I'm slightly hesitant, but hey, it could be fine. It, it, surely the spicy salsa will make everything fine. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. I could use that as an advert for plates. Um. Hmm, okay. The, spi the salsa is surprisingly spicy. I feel like I could do with a bit more of it, but oh, it's taking the uh, it's taking the aftertaste away. Ah, so yeah, the chicken's not amazing, but it's considerably better than the bloody grey sweat slabs that we've had with the burgers. Um, the hash brown is I mean, it's exactly as before, as you would expect. It's it's all right, it's fine, you know. The cheese adds a tiny bit of something. And the spiciness really helps it. This may be the finest um, one from Ed's, actually. Mm. Although, I did quite like the mac and cheese burger. Mainly because the mac and cheese took all the edge off everything else. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. It's still not great. And it's not as good as sort of other microwavable burger spicy chicken things I've had, but it's passable, friends. It is passable. I'm going to zoom right in on that for no particularly good reason. There we are. I've used that as a thumbnail. Um, incidentally, that was £1.75. Same price as a double and 25 pence cheaper than the sausage thing we had first, if you care about such things. Oh, well, there we go. I think that will do us on Ed's Easy Diner stuff. They also do a range of desserts and things which are probably fine. I was going to say it seems hard to mess those up, but you never know. Um... Yeah, these just, these seem kind of, I don't really know who these are aimed at, is the thing. I mean, if you want something, you know, quick that you keep in the freezer and you can get out and just microwave or whatever, um, I think there are better options with the pricier ones, um, especially the ones you keep in the fridge. Um, they tend to be a bit sort of, well, less frozen and a bit better. Um, but equally, if you haven't got much money and therefore, you know, you want the cheapest one, well, you're not buying stuff like this if you don't have much money. You're buying your rice and you're buying your pasta and your potatoes and stuff, aren't you? So don't really get it. Don't really get it. But on the plus side, I don't have to eat any more of these. But on the downside, it seems to be a growing market, so there'll probably be new ones in a month or two from somewhere else. <laughs> ah, the joys. Boy, boy, boy.